Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Limited Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to add Retina um, images into your projects. So already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone. I've simply named it Retina Images for the purpose of this tutorial. So already I've imported an image here of our good old friend the Geeky Lemon. He is currently the size is 100 pixels in width and 150 in length. Just as our image view he's displaying in here. So 100 in width and 150 in length. So the image file is exactly the same as the image view. So if I build and run on the simulator and um, so for non-retina um, devices uh, the image will be displayed um, fine, well perfectly fine. But for Retina um, devices, the uh, because the file is um, exactly as the image view is in size, as you can see here, if I go on hardware and device, you can see I'm selected on the iPhone Retina. So you can see here the image is a little bit pixelated, has a few jagged edges, and um, can look uh, you know a little bit rubbish. And times. So, how do you add um, ret um, retina images? Is simply like this. So, you can see on the desktop here. If I quickly enlarge both of these um, files here, the original here and the retina one here. Now, the retina one is exactly double the size of our original one. So, where the original is 100 in um, width, the retina is 200 in width. And same with the length, which is 150 uh, length here, and um, the length here, or well, the height, is 300. So it's exactly double in length and height. But as you can notice as well, that the title name, if you look down here, is image, the at symbol, the number 2, and the letter X. Now this is the code for images for making them um, be displayed as retina images for when the... Um, the app um, detects to, uh, a retina display. So the simple way to do it, there's no coding involved or any um, tweaks or anything like that within the interface builder. So as you can see already, that the image file or image view in our view controller here yeah, is displaying the image.png. All you would simply do is get the image, the retina image, drag that into your project, make sure it's copied to items, um, items destination group folder sorry and press finish so once you imported it there you can still see um, image view is displaying image one and all you would do is go to build and run so when you load it up it detects that it's got the retina display and then when it um, displays the image it will look for the retina image if the device has a retina display now as you can see the picture is 100% clearer if you don't believe me, just simply pause the video, go back to when we displayed our previous image and compare the two. To make it more interesting, I'll simply just copy and paste a second image file here. And I'll duplicate this, rename this, sorry, image 1. Okay, then, so now basically what's going to happen now is I've duplicated the non-retina image and named it retina1. I will drag that into our project. Now as I can't display it as the original image because it will detect the retina image and display that. So then the second one here will have retina1, I mean image1, sorry. So now basically I only have the retina file for image.png. I don't have a retina file for image1.png. So when it loads up, it will detect the um, retina image for image.png and display the retina, but because I don't have a retina image for image1.png, it will just display the basic um, image1 as I've set it to. So if you go in a simulator and build this now, and now you can compare the two um, resolutions. So as you can see, uh, it's loaded up, it's detected um, the retina for image.png, the top one, and it's gave us the nice, clear, crisp retina image. But because I didn't have or didn't import a retina image for image1.png, it just displays the bog standard simple image. Now, if you look 
and then both now and compare you can see the pixelation the jagged edges and it doesn't look very nice at all so just to ensure that your app looks pristine and fresh and precise with its graphics for all devices just make sure you import um, retina images for for all of your images that are in your app just by simply adding the extension on each image if you look down here or in our project the at symbol number two and x so that's simply how you add and update your images for the retina display so i hope this helps in your apps or projects at the moment make sure you favorite and like the video as this really does help us out and gives us a wider audience and it helps other users out with our tutorials and if you want to leave us any feedback or comments to us, um, send us a message or leave us a comment or contact us via our website, Facebook or Twitter. Most importantly, subscribe and um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you all again next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.